Hey tribe and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. I'm Dee and I want to thank you guys for tuning back into the Car House series. This is a collective message, all placements, all signs. Please keep in mind that it is general so it may or may not resonate. Parts of the message could resonate, parts of it might not and that is totally okay. If you're interested in a private reading with me, you can find that information below, as well as if you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so via Cash App at Pure Black Magic, but I will also put that in the description box below. Um, my readings are timeless, so whenever you are watching this reading is when you are supposed to get the message from it. Just apply it how you see fit. What else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, so I'm just going to jump into it. So I was just... Re recording this message for you guys and it got interrupted and just stopped suddenly so I'm feeling like there's a need for you to stop something suddenly I'm feeling like whatever it is that you truly want to do with your life um or whatever goal that you're truly wanting to achieve here there's some sort of interruption whether that's a person um yeah I'm getting it it's a person like someone's in your head but there's some sort of in interruption there or there's some sort of um delay okay so I feel like there's a need for you to kind of just cut out all of that cut out the middleman drop everything and start something that you're really wanting to start right now so I have these cards that were pulled in the the recording that it's not gonna get out so we're gonna go back to it it says take control of your own narrative here now, from this card, I'm getting that there's a need for you, obviously, to take control of your life, um, of your destiny, of your journey, whatever it is you're trying to do. I'm feeling like you guys, um, there's someone in your energy that is projecting like negativity or their fears or something on you. Or I feel like there could also be someone trying to live out their dream through you. Um, bottom line is that you're doing something that you don't really want to do from the heart. And someone else is kind of controlling the moves that you make. This could also be pertaining to school or some sort of study here. I feel like there's something that you're doing, but you're only doing it possibly because, you know, your friends or your parents or someone has kind of put into your head that it will be good for you. But it's not something that you truly want to do for yourself. So there's a need for you to cut ties. There's a need for you to cut the cords here. And stop allowing someone to be in your energy. Stop allowing someone to be in your head. Um, I'm also getting that you could be a writer, a journalist, a poet. Yeah, there's just a need for you to break free and gain some sort of independence here. There's a need for you to stand up to yourself, uh, stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself as well, okay? So if you have been doing something um, for a while now, you might be scared thinking that it's too late to start over or not knowing how to. I feel like there's a need for you to just take that leap of faith to kind of drop everything and start on whatever it is you want to pursue right now. So right after that card, we pull the, um, the villain card. And it says, you can always rewrite the story. So yeah, you can always rewrite the story. There's, It's never too late for you to kind of start something that it is that you want to do here. Now, this is the villain card. So there's a need for you again to kill the noise, kill the villain, cut out something, someone that has control over you here. Something or someone that kind of is... um pulling you in a direction that you don't want to go in here. So you would know better than me, whoever this villain is. Um, even if it's yourself, even if it's negative self-talk here, you can always rewrite the story. So there's a need for you to kill some sort of negative vibe in your environment. And then you have the red card, forgive, okay? So yeah, there's a need for you to forgive someone, possibly even forgiving yourself for not taking control of your life sooner for allowing other people to sway the direction that you go in regards to, you know, whatever you do in your daily life here. There's a need for you to drop the regret and to reg forgive someone. Um, the color red could be significant. So this could be your favorite color or this could be the favorite color of another significant person in your energy that could be influencing you in not in such a um, not so good way. Okay. What else do we have? All right, we have the tower, unplug and relax for a spell. I'm feeling like you wanting to take control of your life or you cutting connections or ties or um, 
having this conversation with whomever is a bit over controlling here overbearing it's going to for sure cause a tower moment because this person is just stuck in their own ways they feel as if they know what's best for you even though you know what's best for you um so it's going to cause a tower moment here but there's a need for you to not allow that to sway you in any way there's a need for you to not allow that to get to you um you might have to just kind of cut off all connections to this person um temporarily it doesn't necessarily have to be permanent but in order for you to get in the right mind space in order for you to get in the right energy you have to disconnect you have to sever the core you have to separate all right we have confidence yeah i feel like this person interferes with your confidence about yourself or your confidence about achieving something here um it says it comes with time and practice so there's a need for you to pour back into yourself what you've been pouring into everyone else or at least a dream of someone else's you've been pouring into something that you you you've always known that you you know true and dear to your heart is something that you didn't want to do here you could also be going on some sort of trip or traveling um some sort of self journey just to find yourself and rebuild yourself here and then we have the gold card. It says you don't need someone else to fix you. Yeah. So you don't need anyone else to fix you. Um, you don't need anyone else to direct whatever you want to do in your life either. I'm really getting a sense of like an overbearing parent here. Like you guys have wanted to live up to parent or not someone else's expectations. And because of that, you've kind of, um, you've overlooked and you've suffocated your true desires here. This person could be very intimidating to you or very verbally um, intimidating or abusive. And that's definitely played um, a negative effect on your confidence, a negative effect on how you view yourself. A negative effect on how you view the world also. But there's a need for you to break free, okay? Whoever this villain is for you, there's a need for you to break free from this person. At the bottom of the deck, we have gray. It says endings are inevitable. So yeah, there's a need for you to let go of something here. And I'm, I'm really getting like a um, overprotective or overbearing, over control of controlling type of parent or grandparent i feel like you're just afraid of disappointing someone by pursuing what it is you really want to do but as a result you're disappointing yourself okay so this is your life to live it's no one else's decision it's no one else's life but yours let's see let's get some cards for take control of your narrative I'm kind of getting the vibe that you guys want to, um, even if it's not related to like starting a business or anything, I'm feeling like you guys want to go to school. Even if you already are in school, I feel like you want to change your major or just change your course of study. All right. So we have the four of wands here. You could be wanting to get into some sort of counseling, um, yeah, like a counselor or a psychologist. Family counseling is what I'm getting to. You have the Ace of Wands, something that you're very passionate about. And then you have the Queen of Cups. So yeah, I'm getting some sort of therapy, some sort of therapist you want to do you want to be here. I'm also getting massage therapy with this Queen of Cups energy. Reiki energy work, energy healing. Uh, yeah, I'm getting that heavy. I'm also getting party planning, um, event planning. I'm getting a bunch of things with, with these cards here. But at the bottom of the deck, we do have the devil card. So again, this is indicating that someone is controlling your life here. The devil has control over this person and you hate it. 
You absolutely hate it and you haven't spoken up about it. This could be a Sagittarius um, or a Capricorn, but we have this devil energy. And just like we have with this card, you need to take control. You're being a puppet here. Stop being a puppet for somebody or something. It says villain, all right? Villain, you can always rewrite the story. Let's see what cards we have for that. All right, so we have the lover's card. It can be um, dealing with the Gemini. We have the justice, all right, Libra energy major arcana and then we have the five of pentacles okay so i'm getting a slightly different message here i'm getting some sort of a romantic relationship here especially with the lovers i'm feeling like there was a breakup especially with this villain card there's someone that you're viewing as a villain or they're viewing you as a villain if you're in a ro uh, romantic relationship or if you've just broken up with this person here but i feel like whatever has happened is for the best you're gonna get justice for it it was supposed to happen this way i feel like things are gonna balance out for you now it could be possibly that this person was actually holding you back and you just couldn't see it that way um, or maybe you've just been, something has just been revealed to you and now you have confirmation that you need to move forward or a confirmation of something, okay? I feel like you are in this five of pentacles energy here, so you're kind of feeling defeated. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands, so I feel like this is something that you'll get over. All right, and then it's leading into the forgive card. So there's a need for you to, yeah, either forgive this person or forgive yourself i feel like you just need to make amends with it create your own closure and get back to rebuilding yourself back up rebuilding your confidence yeah the six of wands is about being in the spotlight it's about victory it's about overcoming something here so you need to forgive then you have the four of pentacles that way you can regain balance i feel like this is messing with your finances Maybe you're just, your emotions are all over the place and it's kind of messing with your work or your money. And then you have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, once you're able to forgive whoever you need to forgive, this could be a fire sign or heavy earth here. That's when um, you can get out of this, this nasty energy. You can get out of this um, feeling sorry for yourself or just this down and out energy here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, of course, this is not going to be easy, but you just have to take the little steps that are necessary and kind of build yourself back up, okay? So, it says Tower, unplug and relax for a spell. All right, I saw the Seven of Swords. It did not pop out, but um, I'm getting a sense of because you are being more assertive, regaining your confidence and actually doing you know what's calling you your purpose i saw the eight of swords also there's someone who does not like that kind of like someone who wants to steal your joy or someone who wants to keep you trapped mentally someone who wants to keep you underneath their spell there's just someone who doesn't get the point they want you yeah the three um the three of swords so hella sore energy here this can be a gemini Libra, or aquarius but there's someone who wants you to feel as if you can't do something without them or they don't want you to win without them there's someone who's very codependent on you and this could be anyone this could be a friend this could be a parent any other family member this could be someone um at work but there's someone who do who doesn't want you to shine i feel like they feel like you're going to outshine them all right, so they don't have the best motives for you, but at the bottom of the deck, we have the world card. So yeah, a cycle is closing out or it needs to split the deck. We have the six of cups, someone who's in your energy from the past or who has been in your energy um, or someone that you just have memories with, even if they're good memories, good and bad. Um, I'm feeling like, yeah, someone's trying to hold you back. If this isn't like... The parrot situation from earlier, I'm getting like this is a friend, a best friend, or a friend, a friend of me, should I say? So let's see, what is this tower card about? All right, so we have the Empress, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Wands. 
Yeah, I feel like someone could be trying to cause a tower moment for you or trying to, you know, keep you confused or keep you from pursuing something here. But it's only because they know that you're going to be abundant. You have the Empress card. Um, it's only because they know that if you break away from whatever type of hold they have on you, whether it's mentally, emotionally, hopefully not physically, um, they know that you're going to get this opportunity, that you're going to be very successful. I'm getting some sort of uh, fame here. So whatever it is that you want to do, whatever ideas you have, it could definitely lead you into a lot of money, a lot of opportunities, and a lot of recognition, a lot of fame, especially with this six of wands here I feel like you had expectations of someone too um to kind of be very supportive towards you and you've been shown otherwise so it's really weighing like a heavy toll on your emotions and the way you think about things here but there's a need for you to get out of that energy. There's a need for you to isolate, um, kind of just pamper yourself. I feel like you will be victorious over this. I don't think you're going to be in this energy of being down and out very long. Because we have the Nine of Wands here. And this is a warrior card. This is a card of going through so much bullshit but still coming out on top. Let me zoom in again. Look at her face. Alright, so there's definitely an energy of you not taking someone's shit anymore at the bottom of the deck though we do have the knight of swords so i can say um or i can't say that this person person will give up easily i feel like the more you move away the more you move into your purpose the more this person is going to try to chase after you um or hold you back i feel like it's just simply that you have ambition you have some sort of talent you have some sort of idea um, some sort of goals and this person doesn't want you to pursue it because they don't want to be left behind but if they would just page of pentacles focus on themselves focus on starting something for themselves they wouldn't be so envious of what you have going on okay so what is this confidence card all right confidence card we have the page of wands and we have the moon. Oh, okay. And then we have the eight of pentacles. All right. So I see you working on your confidence. I see you um, trying to do some positive self-talk here. But with this page of wands and the moon, I feel like um, now this could be a fire sign. This can be someone who is younger than you. Or this can be someone who is very immature or juvenile um mentally or with their words with their actions this is just someone who has not matured enough here page of wands i feel like they're going to be throwing shots at you um i'm getting like a lot of pettiness little petty comments or even posting pettiness online social media i feel like they're trying to take a stab at your um your character here your reputation their goal is to send some sort of communication your way so that you're in this moon energy so that you are confused you're in the dark um you feel like you're drowning so that you can't shine like you're supposed to so that you can't get to work like you're supposed to because we have the eight of pentacles right over here so i feel like yeah this is you minding your business this is you putting in work this is you trying to get your life together um gaining your independence from whoever this codependent person is but they're trying to shoot you down it's like they don't want you to feel good about yourself they don't want you to be confident yeah that's crazy all right at the bottom of the deck we have the four of cups so yeah they want you they're trying to get you to miss some sort of opportunity here or they feel like they're missing out on opportunities because they don't you know they don't have access to your energy anymore or they're losing access to your energy Whoever this is, I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting like clout chaser. I'm getting um, just someone who hangs on the energy of everyone else, who hangs on the accomplishments of everyone else. Like someone who puts in no work, who brings nothing to the table. Um, that person that comes to the barbecue, they don't bring anything, but they take 10 plates. I feel like this is someone who is trying to get ahead or succeed off of your energy. All right, split the deck and I got the cancer card. Yeah. This is someone who's trying to go with you, but they're not helping you build in any 
any type of way, all right? Not positively, at least. They may feel as if they're helping you or they might try to tell you they're helping you or, you know, you should take their ideas, you should do this and you should do that, but I'm getting this person is doing a lot of talking. Okay, so the Cancer card comes right back out, so it can definitely be a Cancer, um, but they do a lot of talking and they don't really back it up. Which leads me back into the gold card. You don't need someone else to fix you. Alright, so there's a need for you to move forward here. Yep, here's that devil energy right here coming right back out. Four of Swords. Yep, okay. So you don't need anyone to fix you. However, the devil card, whoever the devil energy is, toxic energy, energy who is overbearing, over controlling um projects their fears and everything off onto you just negative pessimistic person whoever this person is they want you to feel like you need them and you see how the chariot is like fast forward movement like fast traveling someone is very um i can't think of the word i want to use but i just want to say pushy like, they don't let you breathe. They don't give you any space. And because of that, they've kept you kind of underneath their spell, so to speak, for so long. Four of Swords keeping you in this energy of being closed off from everyone else here. Mentally, yeah, I'm feeling like this person just gets in your head. They want you to think that you can't be successful without them. But that is definitely not the truth here, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands card. So this is a heavy burden coming to an end, or this is you needing to put an end to this heavy burden, all right? This is you packing your bags. This is you moving forward. So I don't know. This could be a roommate situation. If you're roaming with somebody, there's a need for you to get out. If this is a family situation, family home, there's a need for you to get out, move out. If this is a spouse, significant other, there's a need for you to get away from this person to pack your things and to go so you can be successful. Again, you are in a gray area here, but endings are inevitable. So you need to let this go. Escape from this person, all right? And then behind this gray card, we actually have the escapist card here so it says come home to yourself yeah i feel like you've been living life um through the eyes of someone else here like ooh, i'm just not liking energy so let's see what the wisdom deck has to say all right i see happy happy when i split the deck and then we also have chaos and conflict so this is you pushing for your happiness and this is whomever trying to still cause the chaos and conflict Alright, saw the chop wood also at the bottom of the deck. So that's about sweeping energy out. Okay, so between worlds. Yeah, just like the gray card. We have confirmations all throughout this reading. The gray card. You're in a gray area right now. Perfect opportunity for you to take the lead. Take control of your life. Rewrite your own narrative. Um, and move forward. There's a need for you to get out of this gray area. Get out of this slump, okay? So that's between worlds. What else? Peace. Yep. You need to move into a more peaceful environment. Someone who's not over controlling, overbearing. Um, you need to surround yourself with people who truly care for you, who truly want to see you succeed. That's also what I'm getting here. So you can have a peace of mind. Go the distance. Yep. I, I'm repeating myself. Like I'm literally repeating myself. There's a need for you to move forward with the quickness get away from this energy because i feel like the longer you stay in it the better chances this environment or this person has to defeat you all right so you have to go the distance here okay it is going to require you to take a leap of faith and to take everything you have and to move or start over and that is totally okay because with time and practice you can build yourself back up all right at the bottom of the deck we do have a change in the wind so this is a major shift, a major change that's coming your way. The only thing is when blessings and miracles um, come our way, we can't miss the train. We can't miss the opportunity. We can, we can sit back and miss it, but you have to hop on 
right now. You have to make this change right now. You have to make this decision right now. Because when the wind blows, when the chain comes, you have to be in motion with it. If you're not, you're going to be stuck in this energy wishing that you had a... And you're going to repeat the lesson, okay? So there's a need for you guys to learn the lesson. I'm hoping that you will. I'm feeling like you will. And I hope this message was some sort of inspiration for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment if it resonates. And I will see you guys next time.